I call it Pythagoras' theorem, but the Pythagorean theorem is fine as well. I think you're familiar with this. So this is where we have a triangle, and the theorem says if the triangle is a right triangle, if triangle is right triangle, then this equation holds. So we know that's a right triangle, then a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, and that is Pythagoras' theorem. So this is the triangle, and by the way, we have a right angle. The side opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. Or hippopotamus, if you want to be fun. And these two, and the two that are not the hypotenuse, they are called the legs. Okay, leg, leg. All right, so you've got a hypotenuse and two legs for a right triangle. All right, so that is Pythagoras' theorem. If we have a right triangle, then this equation is true. So let's try an example here. Example one, we have a right triangle, has one leg one foot longer than the other, and the hypotenuse is root 13 feet. Sorry, I had root three there before, just changed it, it should be root 13 feet. Find the unknown length. So let's just draw this so we can visualize it. Hmm, so we've got a right triangle, and we've got the hypotenuse, the hypotenuse is root 13, and we've got the, the two legs we don't know. Okay, but we have some information. One leg is one foot longer than the other. So in my diagram, it looks like this one's a smaller leg, this one's a longer leg. We'll call this one x. If that's x, what can I call this one? Y? No, we don't need another variable. This is one foot longer than this one, so all it's going to be is just x plus 1. Okay, and that's it. We can now make our equation using this. So let's put that in. What are a, b, and c? Remember, c is always the hypotenuse. A and B, oh, they can get mixed up, it doesn't really matter. That could be A, that could be B, or this could be A and this could be B, it doesn't really matter. Now let's put these into the equation. A squared, x squared, plus B squared, x plus 1 squared equals root 13. Is that correct? No, it's not. There's two things wrong with that. X plus 1, the x plus 1 is all being squared, so we need brackets around there, and I forgot to square that as well. Okay, now let's move on. Now a lot of um, algebra that we've done in the second semester comes back here. Check this out. X squared plus, now we've got to use our special product here. This is a plus b all squared, right? So that is a squared plus 2 times a times b plus b squared. 1 squared is 1. Root 13 squared, okay, that's like uh, squaring a square root. So we just end up with a number inside. And we get that. And we have a quadratic equation. So let's collect the like terms and remember our quadratic equations, we always like to have them equal to zero in order to solve them. So x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. 2x, no other x's, and let's bring the 13 over here. Plus 1 minus 13 equals zero. A little bit more, we can now do 1 minus 13. 2x squared plus 2x minus 12 equals zero. What can we do now? We've got our even numbers and the coefficients here, so let's just divide everything by 2. And we end up with x squared plus x minus 6 equals 0. And we have a nice little quadratic equation there. How can we solve that? Well, we could do one of three options. We could factor, or use completing the square, or use the quadratic formula. We always try factoring first. Can this factor? We need x, x. We need two numbers that add to give plus 1 and multiply to give negative 6. So it looks like it's going to be 3 and 2. Okay, and they're going to add to give plus 1, so it's going to be plus 3 minus 2. Agree? Now we've got our zero product property. Okay, we've got one thing times another thing equaling 0, which means this could be 0 x plus 3 equals 0, which gives us a solution x equals negative 3, or x minus 2 equals 0, or in other words, x equals 2. And there we go, we're solved for x. Now, are these both valid? Is one extraneous? Well, they're both valid solutions of this equation, but are they valid solutions of this situation here? Can I have a length of negative 3? No, okay, so we're going to reject this. We can't have negative lengths in triangles. What about x is 2? Yes, that's going to give a positive length. Yes, that's going to give a positive length. We've found it, okay? But be careful. The answer is not x equals 2. What's the question asking for? Find the unknown length. So it wants to know, what is this length? 
One of the lengths is x and x is 2, so 2 feet. Don't forget your units. Okay, everything's in feet in this question here. Okay, just from the hint from up here. Tells you feet, feet. And what about this one? x plus 1. x plus 1 is, if x is 2, then x plus 1 is 3 feet. And that is our answer. Okay, you can even write that down at the bottom. The lengths are 2 feet and 3 feet, or just have it clearly shown somewhere in a box or something. Does that make sense? One foot, one, one leg is one foot longer than the other? Yeah, we've got two and three, don't we? Two squared plus three squared equals 13. Okay.